Boom! I'm assassin too! Oh. Boom! Diamond Black! Hey guys, and welcome to the 70th episode of Free to Play Solo. In this episode, what we have been waiting for for pretty much since the classes came out is to get our PvP class, which for us is going to be the Assassin 2. We know we're not going to probably ever really reach the Assassin 3. Well, actually with this new tactic, uh, I might reach it, um, but I don't know what's going to happen once more people start doing this tactic, but I did some more of it. Not as much as last time, but I did some. I'm going to put all of the stuff that I've earned here. You can see here that I've got you know, a full set of assassin gear in my vault, and I've got almost three more sets uh, here, uh, even with the instigator boots, which is the best thing. Got these, which I'm gonna use for PvE. Uh, maybe some blue PvP, um, but not as much. I've got this uh, gray cutter, which I'll use in maybe rare some PvP situations. Hopefully I'll be able to get enough fire daggers that I won't have to use this gray cutter in PvP, but we'll see if that works or not. But I also, in addition to all that, I have gotten all of this. So uh, it's time, the time has come. I am going to, uh, let's see, put this on, that on, take all, and take all. Gonna switch these out and see if I can fill, free up a few more slots here. All right, and I'm going to save. I kind of like poison bows, I'm gonna keep it. Uh, but I don't need any of this stuff. And then I'm gonna save that Nord Sword and Shield because I like to kill the Iron Golem with the Nord Sword and Shield uh, when I'm free to play solo. And so I'm gonna keep that. I have another Nord Sword and Shield that I need to repair. And so hopefully I'll be able to, I, I don't need the Nord Sword and Shield to get him down to 5,000. So I really only need one Nord Sword and Shield. So now that I have it, and I'm gonna have to start doing the Forge a lot more now uh, because if I lose any Fire Daggers in PVP, uh, I'm going to have to go earn some more back. Um, so I'm actually a little bit nervous about using, I traded my second fire dagger and a bunch of other stuff uh, to get a fire bow. All right, I'm going to get my silver, kill four enemies in a tomb. It should be pretty easy. Okay, here we go. So class, assassin two, we're going to do boom. And here we go, guys. This is This is what we've been waiting for, like, for like 60 episodes to hit our assassin to go do some PVP. Uh, wait, why didn't it unlock? <gasps> no, I totally forgot about that. Okay, master thief lock picks. Oh, crap. Okay, we gotta get some master thief lock picks. We need three of them. That means three steel bars. Mmm and 12 maple. So frustrated right now because I wanted to start going for Rogue 3. Why did I not see that earlier? Okay, that was my bad. Uh, we got to go make some Master Thief lockpicks before we get raided. I was really wanting to offload all of this purple gear so that if I got raided, uh, you know, one of the things that you got to be when you're free to play solo, you got to be nimble. You got to be, uh, can't stock up a ton of riches in your base and and you saw in the last episode it got a little scary there with that guy who was more powerful than me and so let's see if we can't get a master thief lockpick i i don't actually know how much steel i have on this account oh crap i only have one okay let's see let's see where we're at we got some iron we got some coal we need some copper how much copper do we have Thought I had some copper. Okay, I'm gonna put all this stuff back, as annoying as that is, and I'm gonna go find some copper. Do I not have any copper? <laughs> okay, I don't have copper. I have not been doing nearly as much copper farming as I've wanted to be doing, but I, let's go get copper. That's what we need to do. We need to go get copper. We need two copper bars. And if we can get two copper bars, then we're going to be set. Okay, we just need one more copper ore to get there. Now, that is going to take two hours, so we're not going to do it in this episode. But in the next episode, we will unlock Assassin 2. Oh my gosh, guys, it's so sad. I really thought it was going to be episode 70, 
was gonna be the magic number. But we also need to go get some maple. So let's, uh, how much maple do we have? Zero maple. Are you serious? I thought I had maple. Oh, I used it for my district. I don't have anything, guys. I'm poor. I mean, I've got a bunch of purple stuff from doing this event. Okay, well, I think I have everything else besides the steel and maple. Let me see. Let me make sure. Okay, I have everything else I need. So we gotta go get maple and some copper. Um, more maple than we need copper, actually. So let's grab this stuff. Grab this weapon. Grab some random clothes grab a spear put this stuff away okay so we got an axe for maple and got a bunch of random stuff we got some maple here so i'm gonna grab that and i'm gonna grab these bones I'm gonna take off this backpack okay we're gonna we're gonna start with maple because i already have the the bar right there and i'm just gonna Split up these bones and we're gonna just search the maple get as much as we can and then we'll switch over to copper farming While we're waiting for those zones to reset. All right going in with friends just a lot more trees This is what we're gonna do. Okay. So, wow. That was easy. Y'all see that? Come here Come here. Come at me, bro. Let's do this All right inventory no 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 Oh, this tree doesn't have any bees. This is wonderful. Wait, why didn't I kill him? That was on the back. Should have been a good little kill. Oh, it wasn't with a dagger. Got it. One, two, three, four. Ah! Okay, guys, we did it. We finished clearing out this, um, oh my gosh. Um, we finished clearing out all of the trees of this zone, but one of the things that, um, in order to make sure this zone resets, we gotta get three of these chests opened and emptied. Oh crap. Okay, so there's two more chests in the zone, but we only have to empty one of them to get where we need to go. Okay, I'm not gonna go into that tomb. Even though I need to kill four enemies in a tomb, I really want this zone to reset. And it's not gonna reset if I go down and, and get some of the chests in that tomb or kill some of the enemies. I'm not exactly 100% sure how it works. It seems like the devs changed it and we haven't quite nailed down the formula. But I want that zone to reset. It, hopefully, unless there was another player in there, the zone already reset. So we're just gonna put some stuff away. Also, while we're here, you know, we might as well put some maple planks going on our woodworking benches. Uh, we need 12 of them, which is, you know, that's going to be a pretty big cost for us. But we'll have some Master Thief lockpicks, which honestly are not worth that much because this is the beta. And so a lot of people built massives before Big Chest even existed. So uh, the Master Thief lockpicks and a lot of the people, basically, there's not a lot of Big Chests. When you raid someone, it's, you know, it's usually you're going up against massives or level 2 chests. So... This lockpick is probably a waste, us making them, but we have to to get the class. So I don't think I have my coins. Yeah, I already claimed. Why does it say I can claim them? Why does it say I can claim them? It says I can claim coins. Oh my gosh, guys. 
25 coins. I don't want to make these Master Thief lockpicks. They're pretty much worthless because everyone has massives. Guys, this is huge. Oh, how many coins do I have? 25 coins, free to play. Oh my gosh, guys, this is awesome. Oh my gosh, guys. I was so worried I would not get Assassin 2. And honestly, I could not think of a better thing to spend my coins on than to skip building master lockpicks. Now, if you're on a global server, not one of the beta servers, then I would say it might not be the best thing for you to spend. It still might be a good one because honestly, with, with pay to win players trading with free to play players, a lot of people just go straight from uh, level two chest all the way to massive. So this is one of the most worthless skills that they could have. All right, here we go. All these people are gonna watch me. Boom, I'm assassin too! Yes, 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 yes. I am so excited. And uh, all these guys gotta witness me hit assassin too. I guess, does it say in local that I'm Assassin 2 or is it only in family chat? Okay, someone's teaching me that the fire dagger is the best way to get. Uh, okay, here we go. We got to kill eight players, break walls during a raid, 10 of them to get Rogue 3. All right, we're doing it. We're going for Rogue 3. Oh my gosh, it's so painful to just throw all this stuff. But I did get this stuff super easy by just doing the fire giant event. So I need to... Oh my gosh. All right, guys, so we're already over 10% of the way there, which considering how long it took us to get to assassin level two, this is pretty awesome. So hopefully I'll be able to keep doing this, uh, this trick. Ooh, I also have all this stuff to give. Oh yes. And then we're going to start a raid and we're going to gear up to defend our base and hopefully not lose our fire dagger on the first day that we do this oh man i'm almost 20 percent of the way done that is awesome if i get rogue three it's gonna make doing odin's so much easier oh i cannot wait i love rogue on my free-to-play solo account for pve it is just so relaxing just me and my fire dagger killing odin's taking it out i wish i had more time to do it i'd be a lot richer on this account if i did odin's more often i'd also be level 99 <laughs> right now, I am not level 99. Okay, well, let's gear up. Uh, I kind of want someone to attack us now. All right, we'll see. Oh my gosh, I just got to organize all this stuff. All right. I don't like to organize in front of you guys, but I think I might have to. Okay, I am going to upgrade these, ch these chests. That is also going to help me. Look at that. All right, stuff that I need on the fly. I might keep these here. It's not like they can use them to break my walls. All right, I'm gonna keep this topped off because honestly, I might as well keep working on some uh, some steel ingots to upgrade these other chests. You know, it'd be nice to get them to big chests. Uh, it would just make me, you know, a tankier base, a harder to break into base. Uh, and then, honestly, I could probably trade those steel bars for a lot more steel plates from some pay-to-win players. And that would give me um, another massive chest in here. So... So I kept my uh, assassin set that's down there. I'm gonna go ahead and wear instigator boots. It is, uh, many people think it is the better combination for the assassin because it just gives me that little extra speed to close the gap uh, with someone. And I'm switching over to assassin two, the first time ever switching to assassin two. This is my PVP class. And I am beyond excited about it. Um, I'm also going to take a lot of these hammers I've gotten. I'm going to keep this here, so 
but I'm actually going to switch to Dispel uh, because I need to be able to Dispel quickly. And hopefully I'll be killing them before they have a chance to to really react. So, whew, okay. Just matched. We'll see. Okay, level 99. I'm nervous. My uh, heart rate is already increasing. Oh, I don't know. I love this game, but I, I don't know if I'm ever going to be that good at it because I don't know how to, like, calm down. <laughs> I need to play it like so much more if I'm ever going to calm down. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I was preparing for a defense, but it looks like uh, Bruno uh, is a friend. Okay, well, it looks like I'm not going to get attacked by this guy. Maybe. I don't know. I've had a uh, subscriber be like, hey, I'm a sub, and then they just straight up attacked. Um, I think they wanted to be in a video, but there was no like, there was no like friendly PVP and I loved it. I thought it was great. So, okay, we're going to go, I'm going to grab a, a, a PVE dagger. Actually, because I'm so nervous about having my good gear on, I'm going to bring a piercing dagger and we'll see how this goes. So just so you know, guys, don't do this. Okay. What I'm about to do is really dumb. I'm only doing this because I'm recording an episode with you guys. What I want to do, like as a free to play solo player, like if you were gonna copy me, I would only defend my base. I would sit there, I would either try to flank someone, uh, like Garasu taught me in one of the PVP Masters episodes, or I would just sit there right on the wall that they're breaking, like right next to them. And then as they break the wall, I would throw a hammer to stun them immediately walk behind them while sneaking, get a sneak attack, and try to kill them as quickly as possible. And then when they try to run away or they dispel or whatnot, and I've got them pretty close to dead, then I use my skill and I jump them and then I finish them off. That's the idea. And I keep the dispel potion right there in my uh, quick slot so that if anything goes wrong, I dispel and run back into my base. That's the safest way to win with the assassin and that's what I'm excited about doing on this account because that gives me the advantage that allows me to win. And that's what I want. I want to be able to defend my base against the people like last episode. I would have totally killed that guy if I had been doing it that way. Okay, so we are, you know, we're feeling vulnerable. We're in a solo zone, which is good. It's just one on one. We're going to look for the tomb, but we do not want to run into anyone that can actually kill us. Um. Okay, y'all see that lag spike? That means that normally, not always, but normally, that means that someone is in here with us. Okay, you can see that. Some dead bodies. I'm going to go ahead and berserk potion. Oh, they're in the tomb. Oh, I'm so nervous. It looked like they were in the tomb. This is also really dumb, guys. You sh I should not be using my uh, good gear for this, but I'm just going to kill my four enemies. I'm going to grab this ghost flower. Because kill four enemies in a tomb. That ghost flower counted as a killing an enemy in a tomb. Let's see if that guy even... That guy might have looked. I wonder if he's hiding in the bushes out there. Okay. Well, I'm going to use my shield advantage to try to scout him out. He's not in here. And he's not here. Oh. Oh. Okay, I think I'm going to kill this guy just because it'll be good practice for me. Watch that up already. I'm gonna go ahead and do this just so I don't have to do it later. We'll see if that guy comes back or if someone else comes. We're just gonna try to get a kill. I know it's a little bit overkill. Like if we fought that guy, it'd be, you know, it's it's kind of nice. There's no risk of dying. But I want to try to get good at killing, doing the combo that I've been taught, and doing it quickly. And it'll be good to learn on someone like that. So this is my only fire dagger I have on this account, which makes me a little nervous about losing it. Okay, here we go. We got a a random green, a friendly, getting some loot. Definitely not a bot, but also, you know, we're fine. Luis Rocco. 
Hopefully he doesn't see us. Oh, he's, oh, he was so close to seeing us. So I'm just sitting in the bush. Oh, here we go. Here we go, let's see if he's in here. All right, sneak. Yes, it worked. And he's dead. Why aren't you guys disappearing? Okay, so I don't know how good I did. I didn't do bad, obviously. I mean, I killed him. Early on, I did okay. I, I think I could have uh, snuck a little faster and gotten behind him and gotten the sneak attack a little bit faster. I'll have to look at the footage, but I... Okay, so I think not... I should have, you know, once I stunned him like I did, I think I should have started sneaking as I was running. You see that? How, you know, I think what I did is I ran behind him and then snuck. And it took a, a little bit longer. But I think that if I had ran... You can see that. Soria Emanuel sneaking around. You see me in this bush over here, Soria? Oh, what you gonna do? You see me? 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 Come on. He's scared of me. He doesn't even know what I have. But he doesn't know that I'm not in aggressive mode. <laughs> I bet he was like, what? There's so much movement. Oh, Luis. Sweet Luis. I could take on both of those guys, but that I feel like that would be cruel. They're so low level. So a lot of people don't like bush camping. They're like, it's cheap. You know, it's too easy to get a kill. Um, the truth is, this is Frostborn. And an assassin in real life is not one that's going to be like, here, let's have a friendly duel. They just set things up to an advantage of their own. So I actually have no problem with the bush camping. Obviously I hate when I die to bush camping, but it's Frostborn. We're in the middle of a survival zone. And if someone wants to sit here in a bush like I am right now, then that's their prerogative. And I'm, you know, there's been a few times I've been like, good camp, you know? These guys need a heal. It's like annoying me that their health is so low. There we go. Good job, Luis. In some ways, I'm kind of guarding the tomb for Luis, you know? Like if any reds were wanting to come Luis, kill Luis, you know, I would do my best to, to save him. Oh, did you see that? That looked like a fire mage. Oh. Boom! Diamond Black! Oh my gosh! Oh, he was wearing almost broken gear. Yes! I got my first good kill! That was awesome! Oh man! Diamond Black. Yes! And I didn't even have a Berserk Potion on. Ah, oh, thank you, sir. Now, uh, I, if I had hit my assassinate just a second earlier, he wouldn't have even gotten that stun off me. And what's, what's, what's important about that is a good fire mage would have gotten that stun off and then he would have also had a, a hammer. He would have been doing some damage and then he would have uh, got me with the hammer and kept me going. And because I had forgotten to switch my dispel over here, there's a chance he could have killed me, but I'm gonna get better. Uh, this is actually the first time I've really played Assassin, uh, at least legitimately. Like I, on my research account, I have all the accounts, all the uh, classes unlocked. I've never really played uh, seriously as the Assassin, like it's a solo player. And so this was fun. That was, that was a really good fight. I'm gonna go bring his stuff home. So what did I get? I got a Wrath Staff and wow, he definitely brought pretty much almost all broken gear. But it doesn't matter. I got my first legitimate purple versus purple kill and uh, that feels really good. That is the Assassin level two for you guys. And uh, hopefully next time, you know, when I'm defending my base, maybe I won't be get matched with the sub. And like the last episode, you know, that would have been the perfect time to have Assassin 2. I really think I would have killed that guy and gotten all of that gear uh, for myself um, because that guy was a legitimate attacker. And uh, the Assassin is going to be a really good defender of the base because, you know, people are forced into some close quarters with you and you get that advantage of that crazy amount of damage so quickly. But I used the combo that they told me to use where I, I saved my assassinate for once they're running away and it worked 
perfectly. So thank you all of those who have been giving me PVP tips. I'm getting better and better. And uh, this is my first assassin, my first legitimate assassin kill on this account, which this is my PVP account. So I, this could not have gone better and I'm just really excited. So thanks for watching guys. And in the next episode, I might heal up that uh, Rast staff because I hear that the Rast staff is actually the best staff to use for killing Hell's Envoy. And I'll just save my uh, fire bow. Uh, maybe I'll trade my fire bow for a couple fire daggers. And now like, we can do some more PVP. But we can finally do a bunch of PVP on this account. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting, hey dude, get better at solo PVP. Well, we can do it now. This was the class that I've been waiting for to do that PvP. So y'all should expect to see a lot more PvP episodes from here on out. Alright guys, I'll see you next time.